So what brought you into the world of chiropractic? Well, my mother had a back problem and when I was 16 and she was helped hugely by a chiropractor in Oxford called Ray Broom. Um, and um, yeah, she went to see him and he, he really helped her a lot in, in, in a very short space of time. So um, that impressed my parents and uh, they talked um, with him about the, the profession of chiropractic and in fact they had heard about him through my grandmother who used to go to a chiropractor in Guildford and uh, he had been hugely helpful, uh, Dr Bennett, uh, Donald Bennett and uh, I went to meet him and his wife um, Elizabeth Bennett uh, and their son Russell uh, who was a chiropractic student, um, went to see them at their, their practice in Guildford and, and they told me about chiropractic and uh, um, yeah, I really, I was really fired up. They were passionate about what they did. I mean, they were real, they were real pioneers of chiropractic. They came over mm -hmm. here. Um, I think it's either, either just before or just after the Second World War, and they're trained uh, at Palmer College of Chiropractic in uh, in Davenport, Iowa, and they started their practice in Guildford. It was a huge practice, really, really uh, busy because there were hardly any chiropractors around in those days, mm -hmm. and there, you know, there, there wasn't a chiropractic college in this country. Um, uh, her. Um, the, the wife, Elizabeth uh, Bennett, she went and started a practice down in uh, in Cornwall and so they used to run two practices down okay. in Cornwall and, and uh, um, Surrey and their son Russell became a chiropractor, he took over the Guildford practice, um, so they're a real chiropractic family um, and uh, um, so yeah, they're really passionate about it and that's really what inspired me to, to train as a chiropractor. So I went to uh, the Anglo-European College um, in Bournemouth and, and graduated from there in 1986 which is like nearly 30 years ago so uh, uh, scary stuff yeah 30 years 30 years ago next year so uh, um, I'll meet up next year with some of my old buddies and be able to see how old they look. <laughs> so did you set up this chiropractic clinic straight away after you graduated? No when I when I graduated in 1986 I went to work up in Liverpool for a, a chiropractor called Michael Vangen and his clinic was the only practice in Liverpool right. um, and he, he'd been practicing pretty much uh, single-handed for a good number of years and I went to join him and uh, work there and uh, you know he was very gracious in, in you know, helping me learn uh, the craft really you know when you when you graduate from college that's just the the beginning and it's only when you start to see patients in different cases and you realize just how much um, variety of um, trouble there is out there and uh, yeah he was a great teacher and uh, I learned loads from him and uh, I'm just sorry for the people in Liverpool that they had uh, <laughs> had to have me practice on them uh, when I was uh, a new graduate but uh, they, they were really nice and uh, I also worked for a, for a chiropractor called Scott Middleton who um, had a practice in Wilmslow in Cheshire and okay. uh, saw lots of patients in his practice um, and then I moved down and worked with a friend of mine who was a chiropractor in Woodstock, uh, Rupert Malloy and worked with him for for three years and as well as another chiropractor in Basingstoke, worked with him and um, then started my own practice here um, in this building um, in 1989, so uh, 26 years ago. So this this chiropractic clinic has been a large part of the Abingdon community for, for quite some time. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's been here for, for a good, good time now and we, you know, we've seen lots of patients and uh, um, you know, I've been um, blessed with, with lots of great colleagues over the years and so um, yeah, we've seen over 12,000 people, seen lots of different conditions, um, so it's, yeah, it's been, hopefully it's part of the community and certainly I like to feel that we're part of the community and, and you know, try and offer the, the best service that we can to the, to the community. And do you have a particular, is there a particular interest you have in, in the, the chiropractic arena as a... I think what I really enjoy is looking at patients as a whole um, and not trying to focus just specifically on their symptoms and uh, yeah, trying to work out why they've, they've got into the, the situation they've got into. I really, really enjoy trying to unravel medical problems and see, see what's causing what and uh, um, see if we can come up with a, a sort of holistic way forward in terms of helping people um, both with you know, their back pain but also their lifestyle, their mm -hmm. um, ability to function, their, their stress levels, um, the way they work, the way they live their lives and, and trying to come at it from all sorts of different different angles and uh, uh, trying to help people have a better life. Yeah, So yeah, I like, I like the, co the complexity of it and uh, um, coming at it from different angles. Great, good. And when you're not at work, what, what do you get up to? Do you have particular interests or hobbies? Yeah, my main my main interests are keeping fit. So um, I go to the gym uh, a couple of times a week, and I swim a few times a week, and I cycle. Really enjoy cycling. Um, done a few long distance trips. 
um, Lance and John Groats, and uh, um, yeah, love getting on the bike and just getting in the fresh air and uh, getting some exercise and. Uh, um, yeah, I feel loads better for that. So I like to encourage my patients to do the same. Great. Good. Well,